What is up my friends here in Call of Dragons? In today's video, we're going to talk about the Commander. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Hero Tier List. If you guys want to have access to this Tier List guide, we will have them in the description. You can click that link and you can use this. By the way, we are working with COD that Guide. This is a website that you can use for the trusted guide for Call of Dragons. Now for the Tier List, we have SS for being the best and D for being the worst. So let's start with the farming tier list. All right, for the farming tier list, let's put in this, we put Pan, we put Kela, and Chakcha. For C, we are going to put Ordo. Now Ordo is here because he's not really a PvP fighter, but he still has some value. He's not D, he's an engineering talent, so you can use him to build and destroy structures. So still somewhat useful for that aspect. Now, for B, we're going to put Alistar, which is a cavalry commander. We're going to put um, Alwyn, which is a mage. We're going to put Atheus in here. And then we're going to put Craig. And we're also going to put Bakar. Now, for A, we're going to put Garwood. Then we're going to put Nika. And then Tia. We're going to also put Waldir. Guanwin also goes into A tier. And also as well as Elena. Now, for the S rank... We are going to put Bakshi over here. And then we're also going to put Nico here. And then for the SS rank, we're going to put Lilia. We're going to put Haas. We're going to put Madeline. And we're going to put Emery. So this is my tier list here for Call of Dragons. Now, the reason why we do this in here, let me explain to you. By the way, guys, we play Call of Dragons here on the computer. As you can see, we're using Bluestacks application. If you want to download Call of Dragons now, get it on Bluestacks. I have an affiliate link in the description. Go ahead and use that link to download Bluestacks. As you download Bluestacks using my link, you do support me as a content creator. And this is me referring to you a tool that you can use to play Call of Dragons now on your computer. So going back into the tier list in here, this is my observation as of right now. It could change potentially. Now, you might disagree on certain heroes that I rank. I'll leave it down in the comment section below. I again, at the end of the day, this is only my opinion and this is only what I've seen. Now, I rank Lilia as an SS hero here. One of the big reasons is because of her AoE damage. And Lilia is easy access really for uh, players that spends money into the game. And you can use a really strong mage. Now, issue for mage, they are slow. Now, Hosk is a really good hero. Hosk is an overall hero. I don't have Hosk yet. I haven't really seen a whole lot of Hosk yet. But looking at the skills, it is going to be a really good hero. And it's quite strong, giving you insane amount of defense here. When launching rally, Hosk normal attack have 50% chance to reduce the target's physical defense for 15%. So it has a defense reduction for the enemy and gives defense bonus for Haas, increased damage bonus. This is a great hero for rallying in the early stages of the game and also good for um, open field because the maximum legion capacity of this will increase at a high amount of legion capacity bonus. It's going to increase it by 10,000 capacity, which is huge. Now, I really think one of the best heroes to obtain eventually is Madeline. This hero is quite insane in my opinion. It has a huge physical attack damage bonus, shield factor of 1200, you know, increased le leadership capacity, increased legion capacity, physical damage bonus, infantry health bonus, counter attack, skill damage factor in here. It's, it's this is this is actually really strong hero. I think out of all of the SS, if there's an SS plus, I would say Madeline is the SS plus. Now, um, let's talk about Emery in here. Emery is great. It's a cavalry uh, hero, which is good. It's, it's really strong. You get this from the strongest lord, which is the first strongest lord. Deals insane amount of damage for the physical attack. Watcher's blade, rage accumulation bonus, able to cast this much sooner. And then also giving Cavalry passive buff bonus in here. Absolutely insane. I They definitely deserve to be in the SS. Uh, I would really try to rank Lilia as S, but with her AoE damage, makes her better because you can actually damage more players in the open field. 
you can see that this can target two legions surrounding it. So that's one of the biggest benefit for Lilia why I brought her up to SS in my opinion. And it gives magic units attack bonus, magic units HP bonus, and has a chance to even scorch two surrounding enemy legions. So really the AoE benefit from Lilia is amazing. Now we put Bakshi as a S tier. Um, if Bakshi ever has like an AoE, then he will definitely be uh, SS. But since Bakshi also has a peacekeeping talent, um, his definitely that his definite rank here in the tier list is just S rank. I mean, he's losing that value for PvP, but it definitely gives bonus for whenever there is any PvE scenario. But she is really great. I'm probably going to max Bakshi with comparing with Emery. Nico is a good hero as well here that is ranked in S tier. It's able to deal physical damage to the target, as you can see, 1400 and also defense reduction. Great supporting hero. And, you know, this part is not really more in the combat. One of the reasons why Nico is in the S tier. If this was a full combat skill, she'll definitely, or he will definitely, I don't know, is a she or a he? he? I think it's a he. He will definitely be in the SS rank because this is pretty insane um, stats. Really good passive skill bonuses in here from Nico. Nico leads marksmans, which is good. Now, keep in mind, whenever you're, you know, playing different factions, though, if you're focusing on marksmen, you are going to be uh, Wilderberg, uh, you know, focusing on this type of hero as a Wilderberg is good for you. Now, Thea ranks as an A tier because she doesn't really bring a whole lot into the battlefield. Uh, you get shield factor, you get skill damage bonus. This is a more of a supporting hero in Call of Dragons. Increased attack bonus, skill damage taken reduction, makes it a little bit tankier. It's really more of a support, giving defense and march speed bonus for uh, flying units only for the march speed. But the defense bonus, it's pretty nice, 20%, makes it tankier. Now, whenever you gain a shield, um, you're going to get attack increased bonus and up to 12% in here for attack bonus or magic attack. It depends. Since this is an overall um, hero, it pairs up well with, you know, physical as well as magic damages. Now, whenever Thea is, uh, you know, maxed out, you get the Awakening. It is going to grant shield to two nearby friendly units. It's going to have a shield factor of 1,000. Um, Thea's Legion also gains Synergy, increasing hero skill damage by 15%, which is really nice. It's a really good support, you know, hero here. Now, Thea has some good skills, but I, I feel like she's not worthy for S for now. Maybe down the, down the line, maybe I could change her, but for now, I'm just thinking she is more of an A. I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with that for me. Now, Garwood is... Um, you know, I messed up on Garwood, honestly. You can see one, three. Garwood is a tanky hero. Um, this is a garrison that you can use. But, you know, I wouldn't really recommend this for actual garrison because you're not having any damage. Yes, you can tank, you can heal. When you heal more, you'll have some debts there because you can still get debts whenever you are garrisoning. So if you want to see more information about hospitals i have a video make sure to check it out now nika is another infantry unit just like garwood now this one has some skill damage which is pretty cool um, has a 1500 skill damage and hp reduction which is amazing as well but as well it has peacekeeping bonus in here um, infantry attack bonus 20 percent if the marching speed 10 percent it's great it would have been nice if it was more defense bonus in my opinion Skill damage dealt bonus 10%, counterattack damage 20%. When you pair this up with Garwood, you don't really get a whole lot of benefit from this skill damage bonus, you know, because Garwood runs with, you know, no, it's, it's, a healing, it's a healing. So I think Nika would be a good pair for, yeah, it's not even, this is a physical attack bonus. I was about to say good pair for like Garwood, or I feel like I was going to say, uh, I almost like want to say good pair with um, uh, Madeline, but the skill is is a physical attack, so that's that's an issue as well. It doesn't really um, give that bonus. She's only really giving her bonus in here. Now the tier list could change potentially when you know more heroes are released in the game. Now let's talk about this briefly here. 
with the Epic Commanders. Um, the Epic Commanders, we put them here. Uh, Waldir is great because of the AoE. Gwen Wynn is also great because of her ability here with increasing final attack damage factor 400, skill damage factor 200. Um, marksman bonus, pretty good. Damage dealt bonus. It's a high attacking skill for this hero. Elena is a great hero as well. This is going to give you a shield factor, physical and magic. So Elena works well with either type of, you know, heroes. It's an overall talent, um, excels at leading all types of units. Elena is more of a tanky, so you can bring Elena. Maybe you can put Garwood and put Elena in there. That would make it a lot tankier. Yeah, I actually do is a Bakar. Uh, Elena makes it tanky, a tanky setup for me. Now we have all of the other ones in here. The video is getting a little bit too long. Um, I'm gonna have a video basically kind of break down and kind of talk about each heroes here in Call of Dragons. So Alistar is a cavalry hero. Um, you know, he is okay. He's not like something that's very deadly here. So that's why Alistar is just like a B rank. And then looking further into B rank, we have Alwyn. Alwyn I kind of like. Uh, very low skill damage actually, no AoE, but he has this ability to control, giving them a chance to ensnare. So you kind of slow them down. Well, Ensnare kind of stops them from moving. I haven't really used this hero skill yet, but it's okay. I wish it has AoE. Now, one of the reasons why Waldir is better because of the AoE ability in the open field. Now, Atheus is a great um, you know, hero here. One of the biggest downfall for him is that he only really applies the healing bonus for flying units only but he actually has some great abilities in here for open field 800 skill damage factor which is pretty high for a epic hero he also has more chance to heal 30 percent chance to grant healing when attacked but atheist doesn't really provide a lot of damage um he re pretty much relies on his skill and you know getting that 30 percent chance on gaining more rage, a lot of RNG, honestly, for this one. So that's why he is a little bit lower into the ranking. Now we got, now another hero here is Craig. He's okay, he's not something that is um, very deadly, has some good skill damage in here. One of the last skills, which is kind of interesting because it's gonna be a engineering, um, engineering bonus while building, 20% bonus. So it's a great skill for building barricades and alliance buildings. Um, attack bonus, 10%. Skill damage bonus, 10%, you know, not a whole lot. And then you get the marching speed, which, you know, it's okay. We're going to put it with flying units. Um, it's not something that is super strong, in my opinion. Now, the last one is Bakar. Um, Bakar is something that you can use in the early stage. You can use it to garrison your city, which I've done in my combat. But honestly, he's not the best when we think about long term as well. You're not going to use this as a garrison eventually. Um, low skill damage factor gives you a little bit of a damage bonus as well. 20 more percent. Um, infantry units gets physical attack and defense. Attack reduction of 25. It's a tanky setup in here. Almost like Garwood, but without healing in the open field. Now, whenever you are garrisoned in a city or a stronghold, then your healing is going to increase by 4%. You're gonna get granted at the max level of 15. So I'm putting Bakar there at a low rank on the B tier in here, but I'm not saying he's bad. I actually use him, I get him. So I would say Waldir is probably one of the best hero for the starting commander in comparison to um, Bakar or Guan Win, in my opinion. So like I said, everyone, if we have a little bit differences of opinion, let me know in the comment section below. Um, you know, I'm more than willing to kind of listen to some of your opinions, but keep in mind that every single one of us will have differences of approaches in the game, differences of aspect on how we rank the heroes. And like I said, as we learn and process through the game, we're gonna learn more and change this, you know, change stuff up in here. And uh, if I find something that is like, oh, okay, it's actually a lot stronger, then we'll change things up in here and make it uh, updated uh, video for the tier ranking. So anyway, my friends, thank you guys for watching. My name is Shinchi42, consider subscribing and like the video if you like it, and I'll see you guys again next time.